Greetings and welcome back to Civilization V, the first few turns. Last time we played Ethiopia uh, as Hasie Selassie, Haile Selassie, or what's it called? Um, now, this time, next on our list is Harald Bluetooth as Denmark. Now, Denmark has a bonus that says an embarked units get plus one movement and pay just one movement point uh, to. Uh, disembark from sea to land and melee units pay no movement point cost to pillage. Uh, they have the Berserker, a unique unit that is uh, it's kind of strong in the early game. This is an exception to the usual um, crossbowman uh, <laughs> uh, thing I have uh, because he's really strong and I don't remember his abilities, I just remember that he's really strong. And then they have the Longship that is a replacement to the Tririm if I remember correctly. And what the Longship does is any unit that starts its turn under it in the ocean. You can have uh, a normal land unit and the sea unit on the same tile. So when you have a land unit under the longship on the same tile as the longship, that land unit gets a plus two on its movement or counts its base movement as plus one. Uh, I don't remember if this stacks with this one or if they change the ability, but I remember that for Denmark. Now. This obviously means it's a grey civilization. Yeah, stop talking. A grey civilization is a civilization that can play uh, anything because they have no specific... Um, they have no specific uh, abilities. Now... Melee attack unit... Transfers its movement speed to any embarked units it escorts and it has six movement speed so yeah you can slingshot settlers um, from your settling position now usually with this civilization you prefer on settling uh, for sea and we have a three foot tile adjacent to us so we're gonna do the standard three foot three foot um, settle and we have uh, hills to grow to uh, with the new chains that uh, laborers only cost two production you only need one heal in the beginning of the game, so you can just grow your city to production focusing that. But uh, in general, heals are good for the late game. They give, uh, they give some good bonuses for uh, mine production and stuff like that. Now, we don't have any more tiles better. We don't have any good tiles. We have uh, four coastal resources though. So let's try a liberty play. This seems like a liberty to me. Uh, we have a, a river in our capital, so that means uh, we will be able to construct a gardens. Or did they change that too? Uh, yeah, gardens need river or a lake. Not fresh water, river or lake. What difference does this make? I don't know. I guess fresh water is the same thing. Okay, um, so we can build gardens in our capital, which makes us capable of going liberty. And our capital has a lot of food, which means it's going to be a strong liberty capital. And strong liberty capitals are really good because uh, that's the weakness of liberty. They don't have a good enough capital to um, antagonize, to compete for wonders with other uh, tradition civilizations. Now, I think I fucked up. Oh no, it's not that But If we had a ship tile here, let's say this was a ship tile, we could change the ship tile, we would still be growing, but had, have two production for here, so we'd, we'd have six production here, and then grow to the hill there. So when you have a 3-3 three, three, uh, combo with a ship tile, it's the best uh, start you can get, in my opinion. Now then, there's no way I can actually... If we had the 2-1 also, we could be working the 3 tile on our first turn and then and then the 2-1 on our 2 next turns. This would be 5, uh, so this would be 9 of 16 and then 5 again would go to 14 of 16, but it would grow to the hill. So yeah, I can show it properly here. Sometime, uh, at some point, I'll just do a total um, economy guide for your first 4 citizens probably. Explain every math trick you can do with them. 
Yeah, we're too behind in production here. We don't need to be working that one. Um, we're going to go pottery to sailing, not uh, horses. Uh, it's different because we have a lot of coastal resources and the last version of the mod buffed the fishing boats. They don't give one food now, they give one food and one production. So it's 20 production for the fishing boat to get a lot of, uh, a lot of good goodies. Okay, 75 gold. I think... Hmm. We're gonna send one up there. So I can send one here. Get him there probably and do a round. Oh, I see the state. Hey. Now I would like to do a monument now. Because we are playing Liberty, but the earlier we get our culture, the earlier we'll, we'll be able to go exploration. Should we just do a rush exploration one? It's not that strong in general. Haven't tried it a lot of times. Okay, if we go rush exploration, we go for writing. Can we rush the great library like this? I don't think we can. Anyone that gets writing uh, as a ruin will be eight turns ahead of us for the Great Library, which means we'll probably lose it. So if you don't get writing as a ruin, in my opinion, there's no point in rushing Great Library. So I'll try for a scout. This is two production ahead, if I remember correctly. So we'll get him in exactly three turns. And then I'll think I'll go for a shrine. I'll be a bit late. Tradition civilizations are going to be faster than me in getting that uh, shrine out. But we're not tradition, we're liberty. So we're probably going to be stronger than them in the late game. So we can actually tolerate them having that. Now, I don't remember if the worker or the fishing boat are the more valuable ones to buy with your gold. We got the Spearman. We learned about Almaty. A little bit gold more. Now if we are going to go for a worker. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're doing a monument and then a shrine. Because the... The coastal pantheon is so weak now that it is almost never picked up by anyone. A monument now, what is it going to give us? In four turns we're gonna be at 11 and it's gonna go to 14 and then 15. 14 and then 17. Yeah. Seven turns. Doesn't seem right. Three turns. Should I be working the food? Yeah, why not? Let's work the food. We want a strong capital. Um, are we trying Oracle to Theology? For exploration? No, I don't think we are. We are going to go full liberty. Um, I don't like this setup then. Uh, we don't need that food. So how about we go like this? No. Like this. I don't know. It's too weird. We need a worker. Okay. Uh, let's decide to go for citizens and then we'll see what we do. For citizens first and then the rest. Okay. This is happiness. It's good for us. We haven't found a lot of a lot of uh, ruins. There's Polynesia in the game. Barbarian there, a ruin. Barbarian there should not have gone here. I thought this was a Mars. Oh, it doesn't make any difference actually. 
Now we're getting plus 3 gold. We're missing uh, 3 turns to buy a worker. One population, okay. 30 gold, okay. Um, I think we'll go like this. Well, actually... Okay, what if I... Plus four. So if we go to plus three now, the next turn I can buy this, work that instead of that, and I will grow into expected um, time. This will become 4 instead of 5. I think it doesn't change anything, or does it? Well, we'll get Monument Wonder later. It doesn't matter, anyways. Um, let's go Husbandry to Mining. I'll buy my worker now, thank you very much. Oh, if I bought my worker next turn I would be able to to buy this tile too. Fuck. Hmm. I did a duty. I totally did a duty. Um, we can't do trapping. We can't do pastures either. We can do pastures now. Fuck. So this was a mistake. Okay, working this is obviously worse than that. Um, three turns growth, good. Monument is still in place. Yeah. This is perfectly perfect. Now, growing a liberty capital is uh, really important because by the time you get collective rule, you can spam uh, citizens very fast. Tradition loses a lot of time spamming citizens. Uh, so does liberty. And the more huge citizens you can pump out in the same number of turns. Well, let's just be working that one instead of that one. I don't know about the shrine yet. Well, we have to do it. It's crazy expensive. Now this means every 10 production is 60 gold. So buying a worker is still the most efficient thing you can do with your money. So let's uh, do a shrine. Now food is, of, food is of no consequence to us right now. Because we have a lot of food and we are going to have a lot of food. And we're working all our food anyways. Um, to produce more citizens. Yeah, I like these tiles. Can I buy the horse now? No, next turn. We'll probably work the horse next turn. Okay. Should we buy the horse, the, the horse and work it? 